Hey guys, welcome to another try ride video. Um, today I'm riding Bruce, and I'm sorry it's been a long time since my last one, but I took a break from the game. I hope you can all understand, you know, my reasoning. So I'm here with a few friends today. Um, we're starting here in Strawberry, and then we're gonna make our way over the mountains and end up at the Strawberry Stables. Um, it, there is a funny part at the end, so please stick around for that. But do make sure to watch the whole video, leave a like down below, and give me a comment. I'll make sure to respond to them. If you're a subscriber or you're new here, um, this the horse I'm on today is Bruce. Uh, he's around about, you know, 11 or 12. Um, I got him when he was seven. He was left at McFarland's Ranch, where I stay. Um, and I worked a whole year to buy him. So he's now mine, and I love him to bits. We then got joined by Abby, who I went on a ride with after this trail ride, and we thoroughly enjoyed ourselves, and the horse has got on it really well. Don't you just love the sound of horse hooves in the snow? I absolutely adore it. Okay, so right here, I've probably made the biggest rookie error in trail riding ever. And that is to not feed my horse before we left. Obviously, we it, I literally galloped to get to where we were and, you know, Bruce was a bit tired. So, you know, I started in second and now I'm in around about fourth. But, you know, I don't mind putting Bruce in new positions, yeah, gives him some more experiences. It's kind of a shame that I'm the only one that isn't on a coloured pony. You know, maybe I should have bought Dakota. He might have uh, fit, fit in a bit easier as a gypsy cob. But then, being a gypsy cob, he wouldn't have enjoyed all the work. So, you know, Bruce is more experienced. I think it was his time to uh, shine again. Now, I was trying to be really careful in this sort of area because I did my first ever trail ride on Bruce here and I kind of might have fallen off and face planted. So I was being super careful for that not to happen again.
the views around here were amazing. You don't realise how beautiful the land is around here until you actually ride in a trail where you're walking and you actually take notice of it. I highly recommend you go on trails with people and you actually, you know, walk instead of count or trot everywhere because you actually get to see how beautiful the world is around you. So right here, Bruce decided to go into plod mode. Where he was just plodding along, so he ended up getting a hit in the butt. Good job he didn't react to it. Oh, Brucey, that's just a rock. I swear sometimes this horse is great at being cool, but sometimes there's just like dragons behind everything. No, Brucey, we are not going down there. You fell there last time. Go wide. Yeah, that's right. Don't take my advice on the last one, but take it on this one. Thanks, Bruce. You're such a lifesaver. Now, this is getting tight, so I'd rather him not be trotting. Okay, so at this point I had a bit of a problem getting down this hill and I didn't fall but Bruce just made a right muck up. Bruce, what is your head shake for? Are you disagreeing with me for nothing? No, this is just what happens when you say your horse is a legend and they decide to show you up. Thanks, mate. Another tight turn in Bruce. Please be nice to me. Please. I'd still rather you not be talking. No, 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 no. Thank you. <laughs> Brucey, will you please put your head down? Thank you. Stupid me. It stopped recording and I forgot to put it on until a bit later on. But oh well, we're down the worst part of the mountain. I wanted to go really gentle down here because as you can hear, Bruce is kind of tripping a little bit on here. I decided I'm getting a little bit too far behind so I thought I'd trot a little bit just to catch up 
you know, he's been really good. So, you know, a little bit of a trot doesn't hurt. Abby's horse and Bruce were pretty much chattering like the whole way down this path. It was pretty cute. Now we had a really mean NPC so I thought I'd better cut that out. We then had this random person join our trail ride and this is where it got kind of funny in the chat. We did feel a little bit threatened by this person because they did have their guns out, but they weren't so mean in the end.
much. I'm so glad that so far, you know, Bruce has been really well behaved. And this is the first time he's ridden in a larger group of, of horses. And you'll see when we do our first stop that he's really good when he's tied up near another horse. Which um, kind of surprised me a little bit. Since we're on a diagonal, I really wanted Bruce, you know, just to walk and take his time. I didn't want any accidental injuries because they are annoying with this horse. He acts like such a drama queen. This was the decided place of our first stop. So we all dismounted and tied up the horses and we spent a bit of time relaxing, chatting, you know, checking out this random person. I thought I'd go, you know, check out everyone's horses. So this is Merlin. And then this is, I love this name, Bean. So cute. I thought you'd all like to see a full body shot of Bruce, see what he looks like fully, and see my saddle. Uh, he's a very good boy, so definitely deserved his, uh, his treat. I was then trying to get like a really cute photo of Bruce, but you know, Bruce is one of these horses who doesn't really do photos very well. I then decided to move him and tie him right next to another horse and just to see what his reaction was and I was very pleasantly surprised. This was my second attempt of trying to get a photo and I really liked how you know, he was being really cute and really soft and wasn't really playing about. Mm -hmm. 
I then did the typical horse lover thing of ooh, wild horse must go and look. Bruce then started to do his best nodding horse impression, which I have to say, is pretty good. He soon stopped after Merlin started shaking his head. It then started to get dark, so we decided it was start time to make a move and head to our next destination. I've decided to let other people go past so that I could be a bit further back in the line and you know, so that we could have a bit more of a relaxing ride, I guess. It was then decided that we were going to go a little bit faster pace. In faster pace, I mean have a gallop, which Bruce really enjoyed. And I'm kind of glad that he enjoyed it. You know, we don't normally gallop with other people, but it was a short gallop, but he loved it. He wanted to keep on galloping, but we were going down to a trot slash a counter and, you know, be on the safe side. This person then decided to try and shoot us, so we just literally galloped as fast as we could away from the area. And Bruce had a bit of a hiccup, but we got there. At this moment, I think Brucey thinks he's a racehorse and needs to go as fast as he possibly can. We then almost got taken out by a horse and a tree, but Bruce used his common sense and avoided it. I, on the other hand, probably wouldn't have reacted on time and just smashed into the tree. We then came back down to a trot, had a breather, and let the horses relax a little bit after that bit of excitement. This person then kept on getting in my way, but karma gets them back in the end. Since we were going to go back up a, up a mountain, we decided to go back down to a walk, just allow the horse's legs to cool off before this workout. Also allowing their heart rates to drop. I yet again then had to restart my recording and I caused a bit of a commotion. It's now really dark and we have no choice but to use our lamps. And this is where a bit of fun came in and the chat went nuts and we were all laughing our heads off.
the horse in front then had a little bit of a stroppy problem and decided they weren't going to move. So I had to move out of the way just to allow them to move forward and then move back into the line again. at this moment and someone behind me just randomly points out that the person who randomly joined us now is holding their little lantern and we all bursted out laughing. I'm glad we'd had that break before coming back up the mountain because otherwise I think poor Bruce would have been tired even though we had a gallop just before it. The random person then decided to start doing a bit of photography and turn their cameras to face us. So I'm guessing they've got some photos from the trail, but yeah, we'll let them keep them. Now these areas were a bit tight so I gave Bruce a tiny little trot and slowed him back down just to make sure that he was listening to me. I needed him to not step over the edge. All I have to say is you must have a trustworthy horse to come up here and one that is definitely going to behave themselves because this is no space for error.
I'm glad that the path over on this side of the mountain are a bit wider and more manoeuvrable. I don't know why Bruce went over to this rock, but, you know, maybe he was hoping there wasn't a dragon behind it. have small tide turns but Bruce decided he wanted a face full of hedge. The person in front of me then disconnected but we don't know until at this point. I then walked around and in a bit you'll see me catch up to the front. I don't think we could decide who was going to go ahead. This was our final rest spot on the trail, so we had a little breather here, so I decided to tie Bruce up um, next to this horse again and hope that he behaved himself. Even though Bruce didn't really need it, I thought I'd give him a groom, make sure I got some dust off of him. And yet again, another treat just to keep his energy going for a bit longer. And we have to keep him happy. It's now got really dark and it's time to start making another move on for the final part of our trail. We were just waiting for people to finish up with their horses before joining for the line again. And we're off. I'm going to leave you with some music for the rest of this video but I hope you all liked it and you subscribe. And maybe if you're playing on Xbox, you can join us for the next trail ride. Bye.
This is the moment when you say your horse is a great jumper and it backfires. Thanks, Bruce. Again, thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day, night, whatever.